Good to be back. Snake tracks, methinks. Probably red belly black snakes. They tend to live around water. Probably up in those rocks. Yeah, well, good day and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Back out in Nunawar country, just south of Canberra, uh, in that tindery hills. Uriah area, just south of uh, south of Canberra. That's the Queanbeyan River. Just trickling past. Absolutely picturesque. I tell you, it's 25 degrees. I'm almost tempted to jump in that water, but I know it was snow not that long ago, so it's pretty bloody cold. So Woo! I'm not that crazy, but it'll uh, it'll cool down pretty quick, I think, as soon as that sun goes down behind the hill. But yeah, pretty good. Yeah, well, I'm all set up. As you can see, I came right down to the beach uh, this time to set up. Um, haven't been able to get down here. I've never even thought about coming right down to the beach before, so a bit of a slog through the bush, but it was good, well worth it, because it's yeah, really nice down here. You're sitting right here looking at all the rocks, there's birds. Every time I come down, there's a wombat, you know, treats me across the other side of the other side of the river there, so hopefully he'll come out tonight, which would be, which would be brilliant, because I'm right here to see him. But also we get goats down here as well and, uh, and all sorts of things. So hopefully we're in for a few visits, which would be good. There's a wombat poop just beside me, so they are about, which is great. So yeah, but um, yeah, I'm all, all set up. It's about, what's the time? It's half past four, so we've got a couple of hours of sun still. Got daylight saving now, so a few more hours of slope. I don't have to race out in the middle of winter and yeah, we'll get the get all set up ready to go before before the sun goes down at five o'clock. So, got plenty of time. So I'm going to go for a wander up the uh, up the river here or down the river. Haven't uh, haven't ventured down there yet. Only ever sort of wandered up that way. So, be a bit of a chance to sneak down there and see how far I can get. I probably won't go far. I don't think there's there's uh, there's a lot of paths or tracks down there, and I'm not particularly keen to. Yeah, get down on my hands and knees and pretend I'm a goat or a wombat so I'll probably just find a nice spot and just sit down and chill out for a bit yeah let's go and see That's the fun part of scrub bashing, I guess. Hot. Ooh, coffee. 
Yeah, well, there's a couple of little soft, fluffy clouds rolled in, which has kept the sun off me, which is nice. Drop the temperature a few degrees. It's really quite warm today. It's the first really warm day of the, of the spring. So, yeah, it's a good day to be out at the Nero River. It's a nice, cool breeze blowing off it. It's good. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to have a fire tonight. Um, come 1st of October in New South Wales is uh, bushfire season. goes right through to the end of March. And uh, you probably need a permit. Um, it's a moderate bushfire danger at the moment here where, where I am, which means you can have a fire, but you probably, you should get a permit, but you're allowed to uh, use it to cook, cook food, as long as you have a, have a, you know, a two meter clear section, which I could do quite easily here, but yeah, I don't really need a, need a fire tonight. It's not, not like I'm needed for, to keep warm, but I also just bought a, um, you know, a, a salad, so that's all I need, so I don't need to cook. And I can just use this thing to knock up a coffee, so I'm pretty pretty chill. And then I don't have to just you know, dismantle the fire either. I'm not keen on having fires on on beaches or anything like that. I know that was a thing I used to do when I was when I was younger, but yeah, I'm a bit older and wiser and a bit more conscious of those sorts of things these days. So yeah, so I won't be having a fire, but uh, yeah, I'll go grab some dinner in a little while and and uh, ease into the evening. But I'm gonna have my coffee just chillax for a little bit. I'll check in later. Wow, that's good. Still got it. This rock's too cool, I'm keeping that one. Parallelogram, go figure. Perfect. <laughs> I feel like a kid again. That's the spot. Seriously, how bloody good is this spot? Yeah. Bit of a bit of an update about it though. I'll tell you about that when I'm having dinner. The last of my jalapeno peppers. If uh, if you watch some of my earlier videos, one that I must have done in you know, January or February this year. You'll uh, might recall I was mentioning that I'd, I was going to have a bumper harvest of of uh, chilies this year, and and I did, and I pickled them, and this is the last of that batch, and they're absolutely spectacular. Just like all summer salad foods, I you know, I just love this sort of food. It's the only thing I like about summer, you know, I, I I don't mind the heat for a couple of days, but after that it gets a bit tiresome. That's why I like winter so much. But I do like to be able to just knock up a quick salad. Yeah, it always tastes good, you know, fresh fruit, you know, just raw veggies, chuck it in a bowl, throw in something else to eat, a bit of some sort of protein, some cheese or some meat or something, and it works every time. But I think my eyes are a bit big for my belly. Yeah, well, that's dinner done. I was uh, a bit overexcited about how much food I brought, but anyway, all good. Um, just knocked up a cup of tea. Pretty much done, I think. I'm absolutely knackered too. So as soon as the sun goes down, I'm probably going to climb in the swag and get some shut-eye, I think. I had a pretty disrupted sleep last night. So I didn't get many hours last night, so I'm pretty tired. And I had a pretty big day today, so... Yeah, but I uh, thought I'd just talk to you a bit about this little spot that I'm at. Um, been coming out to here for maybe, I don't know, two and a half hour, two and a half years. So, for a fair while, I've probably camped out here 20, 25 times over that time. And uh, 
it's just a, such a great little spot. I, I love it. It's you know it's 1,100 acres, so it's a big, big, big area, and it's it's owned by a owned by a bloke I know, and he's just just the most yeah the nicest fella. He's one of those blokes that does anything for anyone, and he hasn't been able to get out here. So I've sort of had sort of unfettered access to it for the last couple of years, and and that's been just absolutely spectacular. So I've been able to you know just come out here whenever I like and and just unwind. But uh, he's uh, he's retired now, and he's decided to sell it. So this is probably the last time I'm ever going to be able to get out here. Which is why I sort of wanted to come down to the right down to the river and uh, and uh, and camp down here. So yeah, it's a lot of memories and a lot of a lot of good times out here by myself. My kids come out here a few times. I've, I've never I don't film every time I come out here, so I, I camp out here quite a lot. And you know, the kids have been out here as well. And and uh, my wife even came out once, drove drove the full drive through the through the scrub and had a bit of a, a bit of a laugh. That was pretty good. So we've got a lot of a lot of good memories about this little spot. So I'm going to miss it. But yeah, with every every uh, change, there's an opportunity. So it'll uh, it'll encourage me to go somewhere else and look for other things. This is <clears throat> pardon me. This is always you know an easy easy thing. Like I literally decided to come out here yesterday. So it was a case of you know just grab something from the fridge, chuck the swag in the boot. Like my uh, car is always ready to go. Like all of my camping gear is just stored in the back of the back of the ute. So all I had to do is chuck the swag on and fill the esky with some food and put some water in and boom I'm off so yeah that was that was the decision yesterday so yeah so here I am probably the last time I'm out here so um, I'm, I'm a bit sad about that but also excited about finding some new spots to go camping there's there are lots of places around Canberra so and I don't uh, I don't I like this place because I, I know there's no one going to be here I can just do my thing all the other spots you know you've got to share them and uh I like I like to be alone because I like to be alone. So yeah, having someone camping you know, 50 meters away, yeah, it's it's okay, but it's not not you know this complete isolation. Like I'm literally off the grid, out in the middle of nowhere here, and uh, yeah, I love it. So yeah, that's pretty cool, but pretty sad as well. So yeah, last chance to come out here, and uh, but onwards, and hopefully the channel. Um, be entertained with some different campsites and uh, a few other places that I might go and venture to. Probably, um, yeah, probably open me up to some more hiking as well because I might, you know, do some overnight hikes. Something I've never really had to do because I've literally had this place, you know, just had my beck and call, so it was always easy to just do this. But I might, uh, might try and, you know, do some more of the. Yeah, overnight camps and stuff and no not use a swag take my hammock or yeah I've got a little bivy and all those other things I just never use them so might might encourage me to go and do all that sort of stuff so yeah next chapter bring it on that's a crappy cup of tea god I hate tea bags yeah well I've been just sitting here for an hour just enjoying it it's such a peaceful night Watching the sun go down, listening to the birds. I was hoping Fatso would come out to play, but he hasn't. But he hasn't arrived. Maybe at dawn. Yeah, this is such a good spot. I'm really going to miss this place. Yeah, when when he told me he was selling it, this is, you know, three or four weeks ago. I thought, shit, yeah, I got to buy it. That would be such a good thing. And, yeah, just let it let nature do its thing out here and return the favour and let people come out and just enjoy this and and camp and you know just look after the place as a natural bit of you know Aussie bush. There are a few sort of feral animals on here which would be good to get rid of, but you know, at the end of the day this is you know ninety nine percent just natural bush. There was it used to be yeah, you know, there's a couple of roads through here and a couple of dams, but other than that it's you know it's just the way it was. Yeah, thousands of years ago. So, would have loved to have get, got you know, got hold of it, but yeah, I work for charity, so best part of a million dollars for a block of land that doesn't make any money is probably not something I can, but yeah, fund up. So it's gone, gone for me. But someone else enjoy it. Anyway, I'm gonna go and grab another cup of crappy tea, settle in for the night, read my book for a bit, and. 
crash out, it'll be dark soon. Probably going to drop down to about three or four degrees tonight, so hopefully the dew won't settle in. I didn't put a tarp up or anything, I'm just going to leave the mesh, uh, the canvas open. And uh, so I hope there's no dew, but there is. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow, so the swag will dry out at home. Anyway, I'm going to go and settle in. I'll check in in the morning. As the sun slowly crept into the sky Well, good morning. Welcome to another beautiful morning by the by the Queen Bean River. Slept pretty well last night. Wake up a few times. It's hot actually, but it's a bit nippy this morning. It's probably three or four degrees, but uh, even that feels a bit nippy when you've been under a nice warm cruise all night. But uh, I got up and started to just tidy a few things up. Yeah, all of the empty all the stuff out of the swag. Um, gonna pack up pretty quickly and uh, head back home and get into Saturday. As always, got a few things to do. There's a whip bird cracking behind me. It was on the other side of the river a minute ago. Now it's here. I thought. You hear it? I didn't. I didn't think we had whip birds down here. So. I'm a bit surprised by that. I thought it might have been a live bird when I first heard it, but no, definitely a whip bird because it's up in a tree and it's going off. <laughs> Not making any other sounds. Yeah, anyway, that's it. I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to pack up pack up the swag and haul all this stuff up the hill. <laughs> it's easier getting it down, I think. It's going to be a fun getting it up through the bush, but anyway, well worth it to be able to stay down here on the beach. Beautiful, there was ducks quacking, like there was ducks just sort of roosting here all night. Just landing and I could hear them all night, it was good. But yeah, I pack up and head home. So yeah, thanks for joining me on another awesome overnight camp out in beautiful Nunawar country. I'll uh, sign off here and as always, till next time, stay safe. Son. Thank you.